Time news in Paris, in London, it was in the US, it was everywhere. It just changed me, changed the way I see myself completely. This body of mine, it's not an ornament, it's a vehicle. We've got Darling girl, don't waste a single day of your life being at war with your body. Just embrace it. Yes, questions. Are you pretty enough? Are you skinny enough? Over 91% of women ask themselves questions like those every day. But why? We need to redefine the ideas and ideals when it comes to beauty. And doing just that, please welcome author and founder of the Body Image Movement, Taryn Brumfit. So good to see you. Hi. So you. empowering. <laughs> You're on this crusade and hoping to heal women, you know, one person at a time. And you do it beautifully with the story. Let's take it way back to how this all began. Mm -hmm. And your daughter was sort of the impetus for all of this. Tell us how. Well, um, after I had my three children, I ended up hating my body and I thought my body was broken. So I went to the surgeon and said, fix me. And I was going to have a breast augmentation and a tummy tuck. I booked it in. And a couple of weeks after, I was watching Michaela playing in front of me. And I had this epiphany, which was, how am I going to teach Michaela to love her body if I can't love my body? And yeah. if I have surgery, what will that do for the relationship she has with her mm. body? So I cancelled the surgery, but I was still still plagued with the thought, what does it feel like to have the perfect body? And uh, I spoke to a friend and she said, why don't you do a bodybuilding competition and see if you can get it? I was like, are you crazy? I'm not doing that. And then before you know it, I was at the gym and I was working out. I was eating chicken Steamed and broccoli. chicken and broccoli. We were just talking about that in the yeah. earth break and it's not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. But you did it. I mean, yeah. look, there you achieved the idealistic perfect body and you said it did not change the way you felt about yourself well what happened for me was I got up on that stage in my you know perfect bikini body and realized that it takes too much obsession and time and it's not my body shape and I could fight the rest of my life and be at war with my body and, and be in battle and it's not fun for me so yeah. I decided against it and that's when I realized my body is not an ornament it's the vehicle in life it's the vehicle to my dreams I'm gonna go and still move my body right but right. just not be so obsessed, obsessed about it with the calories and the muscle mass and then you sent out this before and after it's usually reversed when we see on Instagram or what have you it went viral celebrities all of a sudden were clamoring to talk to you and it was the picture of you bodybuilder perfect body and then afterwards when you said yes you still wanted to maintain a healthy lifestyle but you were eating regular food, variety of food, and it was that before and after that went viral, over a hundred million clicks. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and so what was that like? Because I know in the, you know, the interviews, mm -hmm. you have young women, heartbreaking, mm -hmm. referring to their body as disgusting. Yeah. It's a whole new level of self-loathing when it comes to us internalizing these feelings. Yeah, it, look, it was really heartbreaking. And look, I didn't expect those photographs to go viral, but what happened was I received over 7,000 emails from mostly women, some men around the world sharing their heartbreaking stories. And I felt this level of responsibility to do something with all of that heartache yeah. and that information. So I spent 12 months in the media and um, did all of that. I wrote a book and Ricky Lake wrote the forward. It was all fabulous, but it wasn't enough. I had this insatiable hunger to, to help people because for me, it felt like winning the golden ticket. When I learned to love my body after years of loathing my body, I wanted to share that with as many women as I could and uh, one day very nonchalantly I said I'll make a documentary how hard can that be and it's really hard it is like... hard. and you started a Kickstarter fund so your goal was 200,000 you almost doubled that mm -hmm. everybody so desperately needs a film like this for their daughters for their mothers for the men out there who also have body issues we can't forget about them as you mentioned also mm. so now that you've been able to do all this mm -hmm. what is it like it must be so rewarding to have people say finally I can say I love my body with confidence it's amazing I mean every day I receive hundreds of messages from from women mostly women um, sharing their stories of saying I've now embraced and what a fulfilling and rich and abundant and liberated life it is yes. to not be in battle every day and I'm on a mission while I'm here in Canada to find a million women to watch embrace to come with me to let go of all the toxic ideals that are weighing us down and instead be grateful for the lives that we have and have been 
perspective and I always challenge people and say did you have a you know a roof over your head last night were you mm. in a bed did you have food on your plate can you walk down this street and feel relatively safe Priorities. and often they say mm-hmm and I say well you are well and truly ahead of ahead of the game in terms of the human race yeah. so don't waste your life get on with you it you are amazing a true blessing for all of us get your control back get your happiness back yeah. make sure you check it out everybody get on it right now it's on iTunes visit bodyimagemovement.com you're holding a Facebook live chat Saturday all across the country so for more information check out that website thank you so much it's so my important pleasure. right now over to Kev